border. Where blood flows and the crowds roar. What do you think you're playing at, selling that poison? Make me stronger? <laughs> it almost killed me. I did warn you that the use of my concoctions is not without risk. In short, you were warned. Not without risk? You're a crook and a charlatan, you hear me? Huh? I'm done with this place. A pit of violence and aggression. And lately, it's only been getting worse. Did you really sell poison to that man? Of course not. It was a fortifying brew with centuries of alchemic theory behind it. I assure you it should be highly efficacious for most users. Sadly, it appeared to disagree with that gentleman's liver, or perhaps spleen. You're an alchemist, right? Don't you people claim to be able to turn lead into gold or something? I don't think I buy it. <sighs> that is an unfortunate stereotype, all too common. Alchemists are natural philosophers dedicated to unlocking the mysteries of our physical and spiritual worlds. The search for ultimate truth is the core of our ancient art. The transmutation of base metals into gold, that is a mere byproduct of our inquiries. Mysteries of the physical and spiritual worlds? The ultimate truth? Sounds ambitious. It is. We perform experiments, observe phenomena, and analyze ancient records. Then we carefully record the results for future generations. It is painstaking work. Unfortunately, it is also capital intensive. The experiments I perform are very expensive. Right. That explains the snake oil racket you have going on here. This location certainly has proven beneficial to my research. Bounty hunters congregate in the area, and, as you no doubt know, theirs is a dangerous profession. They are desperate for anything that might give them an edge, and that includes untested potions. Untested? Does that mean you're using those poor dupes as test subjects for your latest concoctions? Mm. They all sign the waivers. Perhaps you'd care to join my project. Oh, you'd make a fine test subject. I have made a new secret potion that needs testing, but all of my regulars have refused to volunteer. You see, I've tried mixing two kinds of highly potent poisons. My theory is two wrongs will make a right, and the blend will have a beneficial effect. All right, I'm game. What do you expect it to do, exactly? It will lift your spirits, invigorate your soul, and protect you from hexes and ailments. If you are the kind of person who participates in slaughterhouse tournaments, then this potion will be perfect. So I'm supposed to drink it during a battle? Yes, that would be the perfect time. And afterwards, don't forget to come back and tell me how wonderful it is. Please note that my potions are provided without warranty. Side effects may include dementia, gangrene, sudden death, and hair loss. Good luck. creating a new effect, they simply neutralized each other. Well, it was kind of refreshing, but the effect was pretty subtle. It didn't lift curses or cure wounds. Refreshing? That would suggest a positive influence on your state of mind, just as I anticipated. I still believe my theory is sound. It is a simple matter of tweaking the ratios of the recipe. I'll make another batch right now. You want me to test it again? Of course I do. An alchemist does not give up the search for truth because of one little setback. 
No, science must plow forward through stormy seas no matter what. And you will join me on this journey of discovery. There, my new and improved concoction. I believe it will be especially effective in curing the effects of poison. Nectar Mark II. Use it in your next battle and then return and tell me how wonderful it is. Did you try my new nectar? Did it have any effect? Yes, it really did. Ah, oh, that is wonderful news. Except the effect wore off too quickly. It has to last longer to be really useful. A simple matter. For the purposes of the experiment, I deliberately reduced the potency. In case of side effects, you see. It will be the work of mere seconds to mix a more concentrated and potent version. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. This latest iteration I have named Miracle Nectar. Drink it to soothe your soul and restore your psyche, meaning it will free you from curses, leaving you mentally prepared to face any foe. I don't believe you. That's what you said the first version was supposed to do, but it didn't do a thing. I forget that you are a mere layperson and need things spelled out. On that occasion, I was referring to the goal of my research. Now, I am presenting the results. Anyway, do try it. your latest concoction. It worked well. Better than I was expecting. <laughs> that is most gratifying to hear. Then the name was well chosen. Miraculously, the Miracle Nectar works. I have succeeded, but I cannot rest on my laurels. I shall give you another task that is something of a diversion. In science, sometimes you must step off the path of pure research and hack into the jungle of commerce. What are you talking about? A diversion? You're starting to lose me with your metaphors. My research requires expenditures, flasks, funds and burners, liability insurance, etc. I need new revenue streams. You want me to help you make money, is that right? Bluntly put, but in essence, yes. Exactly. I want you to be a spokesperson for my latest product. This is the concoction that you previously tested. I'm rebranding it as the Nectar of the Gods. Catchy, don't you think? It's yours for free, and I can even offer a guarantee. What do you want me to do with it exactly? You already know it works, so you don't need me to just test it, do you? I want you to participate in the battle arena. Then, in battle, you must drink the nectar in front of the entire crowd. If all those people see how well it works for you... Then they'll come flocking to buy their own. Exactly. They'll see you drink the potion and think that it will make them as beautiful and powerful as you. Oh, how they'll be clamoring to give me their gill. And it's all for the sake of science, right? Science? What do you... Ah, oh, yes. Yes, of course, for science. That goes without saying. customer no exceptions well you look busy the first moment I laid eyes on you I knew this woman is the philosopher's stone she'll be the key to making gold all for science 
Of course. The search for the nature of all things requires money and lots of it. This will enrich me. I mean, help my research immensely. Fine, but if I hear you're handing out untested potions to customers again, your researching days will be over. Oh, a threat. How frightening. But we're partners. Let's not argue. Besides, I haven't given you your reward. It's only right that you share in the fruits of my research, so this is for you. Oh dear, you are carrying a lot of things, aren't you? Maybe you should discard some of them. Yes, I have added chaos seeds to the brew. According to my calculations, this will greatly enhance your physical and your spiritual health. Allow me to share a fundamental truth. Human souls themselves are born from the chaos. The discovery shook the alchemic world to its core, but years of research have borne out the results. My latest concoction is a result of this discovery, and one of the first practical applications. Our souls come from the chaos? Why do you think that? Years of research, I say. Whether you choose to believe it or not, that's up to you. Both the chaos and human souls are ephemeral things. They defy understanding and elude comprehension. To try to define them with theories is like trying to hold smoke in the hand. 